Oh, King DD. Oh, yeah, yeah, DDD. Yeah, DDD. yeah, I knew that. All right. He's one of the DDDs. All right. This is a character, so, like, have you seen the... the you played around Joker at all yet? Have I played Joker at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the, Joker. The Joker day-to-day -day matchup is impossible. You For can who? just camp him out with gun. Like, the gun, the gun. will knock back the stupid Gordo. Really? It's really dumb. And day-to-day -day has, like, no move speed, so he just can't walk into you. So you could just camp him out, get Arsene, and then go for the kill, basically. Pretty much, pretty much. Well, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, I, I feel that's how most of DDD's matchups go. That can, if they can easily counter Gordo, then it's gonna yeah, give. Then, it, uh, whoa, that was kind of cool. Hey, you could do some trickeration with the uh, Mutral B to reflect his own Gordo. Yeah, I've never seen that particular mix-up. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a new thing they added uh, from Smash Four, which. Smash 4 DDD was pretty awful, but uh, giving him little things like that, yeah. I think it definitely helped a lot. I've just never seen someone jump forward with it like that and then grab it like out of the air. Normally it's like on a knockback or something like that. Yeah, they do the, like the one that bounces really close and then immediately uh, inhale. Right, yeah, like, yeah, that's cool. I see, like that's that. that's tricky. That's good like long range pressure right there. Yeah. Drop in Bounce like that. Up. Oh, that's like, such a great mix up. You can tell like he's put time into the uh, put time into this character. These traps. He's really mixing mix stuff up. That was probably a misinput. Yeah, but he's, I mean, he got out of it like getting hit. Percentages are getting high, but of course that's the Lucario wants to be. Uh, so yeah, I was yeah. like, this is where it's, it gets scary. That's a good point. The comeback factor. The aura. Oh. Some misinputs. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a mistake there. Led to the so on SP. his face, I would say that DDD Lucario is a terrible matchup for DDD. And I think... Is that a gentleman or uh, I think that input? was just a, a mental misinput. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'd agree with you, though. Like, it, it seems like it would be day-to-day, -day, like, kills early. He can kind of zone you out yeah. a little bit with those Gordo. It makes things a little difficult for Lucario. The Aura Sphere, I feel, is a great counter to side uh, no. B. That guy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Lucario's just, like, trying to find a way in, but it's just a little... A little tough getting around these big hammers, these big disjoints when you don't have that aura built up. But he is starting to learn his way around those uh, Gordo mix-ups, which is good. Okay. Uh, the tournament. You beat Tuna 2-0, okay. Fire's looking for Aura Sphere, the reflected Aura Sphere. Oh, right, the shield projectile nerf. I was like, man, that's going to do a lot of shield damage. Yeah, then... so of the characters, I think that hurt DDD a lot because he lost a uh, shield break combo. Yeah. Because as a ledge trap, if he does the close Gordo on the ledge and you do a neutral get up, Gordo hitting your shield plus like a forward smash broke shield. Will break shield, exactly. So that was a good little trap they had, which I don't think is a thing anymore. Well, that and also just day to day gets less shield pokes now because he's not putting up shield pressure constantly with Gordo. Yeah. So, so there's always that. Of the characters that got nerfed, DDD was probably one of the top ones with the projectile shield yeah. damage nerf. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see like how things work out because I know a lot of st you get a lot of stocks off of stuff like that. And now it's not an option. Force palm, I'm gonna clean up that stock. So Chez is so good with that force palm. Whenever I play him, Ooh. the combination of the force sphere and the uh, the force palm is so good just because one forces you to shield and the other is a command gab that hits through shield. Right, yeah, and he's like the fastest character that can man grab too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's probably up there. Which is like, you know, it's a big deal. People don't think about command grabs in this game, or at least they didn't used to, but... But they're really good, yeah, especially they're... with like Incineroar and Ridley both having pretty good ones. Oh uh, man, yeah. They're... It, Bowser's out of shields faster than his normal grab, so that makes it, you know, better than his normal grab out of shield. Yeah. So that's handy. Bowser's got some crazy good out of shield options. He does. Up B... Side B. That was another. Oh, he got the recovery. Ooh, two frame on the roll. First, the air dodged, which kind of gave him some end lag, and I didn't know if he was going to recover in time, but thank God he did. Yep. Oh, charge got see, greedy. Like, you can feel that last stock situation. Lucario playing a lot more defensive now. Nidity, though, has got a comfortable stop uh, percentage lead, so he's just trying to get some hits in. But again, when you're playing Lucario, I mean, two hits at 71. Yep. If he gets a good forward smash, that could be even on DDD. Oh, Ooh, the drop on that is actually oh, real. He's not gone, though. It's not out. Wow. Made it back. 
Just some of the Gordo tricks. Oh, the oh, back air. back air. That'll do it. Good game. Do wow. It. Two SDs on the first stock, but uh, you mainly know, played last two. For some reason in my head, I thought that Gordos just fly straight forever when they get shot out of Day to Day's mouth. I don't know why I thought that. Turns out, Gordos are affected by gravity. Yeah, <laughs> good, I, I good didn't, enough. didn't realize I was wrong about that until I watched it happen, you know? Some good smash <laughs> physics right there. Exactly, exactly. But man, I... Not that Day to Day doesn't have some janked up stuff with his <laughs> physics. The, have you ever seen, like, the... Certain projectiles, right? If Day to Day is inhaling and facing like the wrong direction, yeah, yeah, like uh, Thorin from, yeah, uh, he'll like shoot it out his back or yeah, something. Yeah, he'll like just absorb it out of into his back and then shoot it out of his back. Like just, it's just like okay, I guess. Day to Day, the penguin with a giant hammer just uh, defies all logic. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. We have a Yoshi. Part of the Yoshi. Okay. All right. So, what's your opinion of changing characters after you win? I, I, I'm never a fan. I, I really think it just depends on the matchup. Like, if you, because you don't know, like, a lot of times you don't know who you're playing against game one. In this yeah, situation, yeah. you know, you kind of do, because these guys know each other. But, like, when you don't, sometimes you just, you win the first game, but it's tight. And you know you've got a better yeah, yeah. matchup character. It's worth going into. But it really just depends on how you're feeling, I think. Are yeah, really I mean, that's a good dropping? point. Maybe you saw something in the first game that makes you think you could exploit something with uh, a different character. Exactly. I'm gonna try to fix something here. Got a little bit of lag. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fix here. that real quick. Uh, oh, you know what? That's, I'm not gonna mess with that because that'll mess them up. I'll wait till after the game. Yeah. So you change the resolution, and that will probably change the uh, uh, lag. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm really. The thing is, like I'm really not sure exactly what's causing it. Because when I stream, I'm fine. I think it's my hard drive. Like ah, it just doesn't read sense. fast enough. So I'm gonna have to like. Lower the bit rate a little bit. Do you have a solid state or uh, Nah, mechanical? just a regular one. Yeah. But uh. What? Well, looks like the Luigi or switching over to Yoshi's helped him out quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to say though. I mean, it's, this stock could go either way with the yeah. percentages where they're at. Almost went for the four spear, but he four tilted him out of it. Block the forward smash. It's good. Force palm though. Oh, wow. Oh, How did that not kill? Oh, okay, I think his double jump was already gone, so at that yeah. point, egg throw was all he had left. Oh, boy. And Lucario gets so to still hang out. a little rough on the recovery, but he got away with it. Yeah, and Lucario now gets to hang out with 146 percentage and just rack up as much damage as he can. Yep, try and camp him out as best as he can. I mean, the you can see he's trying to preserve it, too. He's playing a little defensively, just trying to hold on to that stock for as long as he can, but... It's at this percent. I mean, he's almost at full aura. You know, fully charged, what is that, aura sphere or whatever it's called? Does 35. Something yeah. like that. That's not too shabby. He's having a hard time landing it, though. He tried to go for that forward smash, just couldn't quite get it. He got it with the Yoshi back air, which has been greatly buffed from Smash 4 and is sneaky really good. Multi-hit that kills pretty early. It's a nice tool. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. Ooh. So he's getting punished for some bad uh, aerials and then the misplaced up smash. Yeah, Lucario is really punishing the ground, the uh, the landing game right now, which is probably what he needs to be doing in this matchup. He's yeah. just not going to be able to compete in the air. And it looks like he's kind of figured that out, so he's kind of sticking to the ground. Yeah, at this point, Yoshi's throwing out a move and Lucario's just punishing it. Yep, that counter, though, didn't quite hit. If it had, it would have been a stock, but... The tricky thing about Lucario, your sports match, as he said it, but when your opponent's at high percent and you're at low percent, I mean, you don't have a ton of kill options. Right, exactly. So it's kind of like... It's the opposite of, uh, you know, when you're at high percent and they're at low percent, where you have tons of kill options, even right. when they're at low percent. Everything's so. a kill option. Everything's enough kill... Everything's a kill option with enough aura. Exactly. Enough. <laughs> You want to down tilt somebody for a stock? That's fine. Probably take him if you have enough aura. Just get yourself to 400 or so. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yoshi just trying to zone out with the eggs now. Make Lucario come in. Yeah. I like that strategy. I like that a strategy a lot. He needs to preserve as much of that last stock as he can. Of course, he also needs to find the stock and to get it on the last stock situation. And the eggs aren't going to do that, but what? they will make it to something fast can kill, and that's just as good. It's going to allow him to zone out Lucario a little bit. 
stop, uh, he's trying to go, go rush down so much. Right. So, but now he's got to get the kill, so now he knows he has to go in. Eggs won't do. Just playing real defensively now, both characters. Ooh, beat him to the ability. punch. And this is a situation Chess was trying to avoid the way he was playing, was being in this, like we were just talking about, being that you're at low percent as Lucario, they're at high yeah. percent. So, and you're like, well, that's nice, but I have no kill options right now. Exactly. I think Force Palm will do it, maybe a smash, but uh, that's yeah. about it. And there's always a good old-fashioned edge guard if you can find it, but yep. man, that's a hard edge guard to make against this character. So with she, Lucario. Yeah. If she's hard to edge guard in general. Yeah, but, those uh, eggs, man. His eggs and his armor on that double jump. It's really good. Big forward smash. They can quite knock him out, though. He's coming back. Coming a little high. Right. I mean, forward smash will, even with no aura, forward smash should kill right about now. Ah. Oh, That'll do it's it. It's so close. Those eggs. Well, that was nice. Up to the up there. Yeah, Ooh, this combo there is happening, but he overcommitted to it just a little uh, bit. All right, I'm gonna try to fix the uh, this issue real quick. So I believe it's one one now. Oh, you're right. I'm gonna wait till after. I'll wait till after game three. You might want to be able to do it now because I think he's switching controllers. Uh, no, nah, he's good. All right, so now do you go back to DDD or do you stay Yoshi? I mean, I, I feel like you stick with what you won with, right? You go to game yeah. three, you just you stick with what you won with. Unless he has another character in his pocket that he likes more. I'd say go DDD. Yeah. One thing real quick. Okay, that should be a little better. Three, two, one. All right, back to DDD. Don't All know right. why he did that be. I think that was probably a misinput for. Uh, you know. The one thing I don't think he really capitalized on the first match of DDD is reflecting the aura with uh, his own neutral. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. That is an option. I'll have to see if that happens. This it looks like a lot of the time, though, instead he just wants to go for that, like, just leap over it and try to punish yeah. or set up a Gordo. Which can be nice, but uh, trying to mix it up as best as he can is a good idea. See, just going for now. It's deceptive how fast he can cancel that, too. Like. Yeah, it is. It's a better move than it looks. Sure. Yeah. And it has a pretty long range on it, too. So not a lot of it straight up beat it out. Yeah, it's actually kind of obnoxious if you're like a slower, zonier character. Like, yeah, yeah. just a slower character in general, like, hard to get around sometimes. Yeah, that's... DDD can be hard to get in on. It's nice when you have a strong projectile. Force him to kind of rush you down. Ooh, big forward smash punish on the... Uh, yeah, I think that up B was a misinput. And uh, once you do it, I mean, you're stuck for a good five seconds. Yeah, that or he was calling a dash attack. I can see where that would land on a dash yeah. attack and be fairly savage. Oh, loop the loop on him. Okay, our nice. the roll. Now we're getting somewhere. This oh. is like really putting in the work here. I would have to say DDD's best attack is his forward build. It has great range. It does, you know, 13 percent. Oh yeah. It's just a great poke. If his movement speed was a little better, it would be extremely busted. But since oh, he's yeah. got a waddle up to use as slow as he does, like yeah. it makes it a little fairer. It's fair on his kit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Ooh, did that bounce? So I think that it, it went out, got hit by the horse spear, and he was still doing his hit animation, so I hit it back to Lucario. And of course, it's each one of those times, the damage is increasing. So that's like... It's, it's, it's a pretty healthy hit. Oh. When he hit. Speaking of healthy hits, man, that forward air. That was air. nice. That was nice. And once again... Gives you the killing power to actually not let Lucario run away at those high percents. Yeah. When you get a hit, it's going to kill. And, and once again, we're in a situation with a low percentage Lucario, trying to find a kill on day to day at one fifty percent. Big fat DDD. And like you know, forward smash, you know, did it last game, but that was into a Yoshi. Yeah. And that was still at one thirty. You know, so like, uh -huh. how long is it going to be until you can kill with anything on day to day with Noara? 
Or you're just gonna wait until you get tough forward to actually make a kill. Just not ideal. Yeah. He's got the stock lead, but I think he'd rather keep it. Well, it's looking like stock he's going to with these percentages. Rather. We're getting to the point where even Day to Day needs to be a little afraid of un uncharged Lucario. You can see Chess is looking for this smash, too. Kind of looking for some dodges, hope he can force a whiff and then punish. These Gordos are so tricky. Ah, see, that has such great range. It does decent damage, too. Right, right. Well, went a little far with the Gordo, didn't have anything to protect palm. himself. The and Force Palm is amazing. Force Palm is, Force palm is a pretty good move. Yeah. Pretty good move. It's pretty underrated. He was only at 60% too, so not crazy aura. And I mean, DDD was at almost 200%, so we can't say too much, but right. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good command grab. I don't think a lot of people use it to its full ability. I, right. Chez, I noticed Chez, like, he's got kind of a rhythm to the way that he plays. Like, he tries to, oh my god. That was a good call. Yeah, he definitely has a rhythm. He yeah. knows what he wants to do. He, I, I can see where he's like, he, does, he spends some of the time, he's going in, he's doing damage, and he's pulling back, he's charging our sphere, you know, dodging stuff, oh. looking for an opening. Like that, Ari the Star, run right on that ground pound. Yeah, I think he plays a little bit more aggressively at low percents, which he kind of has to to get up aura and do some damage. Yeah, and the high percents, he plays a little bit safer. There's that reflected Ari sphere we were talking about earlier, too. Yeah, yeah. It was coming, it was in there. Saw him trying to do it on the first stock, so I figured it was only a matter of time. And they really nerfed the shield damage yeah. on Gordo. That did nothing to his shield. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty it's that pretty rough bad. now. It was pretty ridiculous the way it was before, but uh, they probably nerfed it a little too much. Yeah, I feel like that's a little too heavy. I mean, it is a big to risk. Jump around these here. It's a big risk for uh, DD to even rip that thing out, so I'm okay with him getting some reward for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like. At least let him punish the defensive play style, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He's looking for that Gordo mix-up, but just... I feel like that far across the stage, he's just not going to land it. If he wants to land it, he's going to have to get risky and get in a oh, little yeah. bit closer. He's got to get closer. But Lucario does not want him closer. We might go to time. We only got 50 seconds. Oh! What was that? Was wow! Cool. You have to wonder if that was calculated or just good walk. Oh, oh the up-b off-screen. That was so sneaky. Didn't kill it. Both of those big hits did not kill, though. Oh my gosh, this is a great set. Oh! oh he, it is, uh, he if he did it the other way, he would have reflected it. Well, uh, you know, he, he might not have, because I think he was about to grab that Gordo first. Ooh, it would so have been he interesting. He might have seen Gordo get spit back out, hit our sphere, bounce and then back. Hit him right in the face. Uh, um, hard to say, but. Uh, that was great. Very great ending to a great regardless. set, man. Wow.